let us pray let us pray our gracious heavenly father we thank you for this hour for the ministry of the word which you have sanctified help us to truly understand the meaning of being salt and light for you in this world in the name of our lord amen kindly be seated nearly a decade ago i read a front page story a true incident about a doctor couple from nagpur from the district of amravati who were involved in a terrible road accident and as they were recovering from their accident in the hospital bed they were able to perceive that their three year old infant was also involved in that accident is brain dead and from their hospital beds these two doctors resolved that the organs of this three year old infant will be harvested and donated but it was not easy and they found it very challenging because of the long winding and circuitous regulations that the government had and after many challenges they were able to achieve that to donate the organs of the child dr umesh and dr ashwini wrote a letter to the prime minister saying that of all the people were asking for organ donations requiring organs to be donated only one in thousand and get the organs because of this long winding circuitous regulations of the government and red tapism and that re- letter resulted in an amendment of the regulations and now dr umesh and dr ashwini are on a mission uh, for um, infant organ donation raising from the darkest hours this dr kapoor has resolved that they will be light to the people who had a darkness in their lives being people of god being salt and light is the theme for this sunday being salt and light is not passive it is active it is not just being it is trying to bring an end to anything that is evil actively fighting with a system that perpetrates perpet- perpetrates darkness upon the people in short bringing the rule of satan to an end for long we have interpreted this saying of jesus being salt and light from the perspective of middle class christians who doesn't want to take any extra effort or pain or suffer loss being salt and li- salt and light is not just being it is fighting against a system to bring the satanic rule to an end this error happens when we disengage the popular texts from the context in which it was set in our bible the chapters which are numbered and the texts which are numbered lend themselves very easy to be taken out of context and to be dealt individually but you can never take the saying that you have to be salt of this earth and light to this world the saying of jesus we can never disengage this saying from its context this saying is set at the beginning of the sermon on on the mount sermon on the mount is set at the beginning of the public ministry of jesus and public ministry of jesus is set at the beginning of the matthew's gospel and so this saying has a repercussions to the mission of jesus and also to the gospel that matthew wants to convey to this world 
Matthew wants, us, wants to show through many Old Testament quotations that Jesus is the expected Messiah of the Old Testament. More, more importantly, Matthew wants to show us, the readers, that Jesus was not willing to fulfill the narrow messianic, messianic expectation of the Jews of first century. Sermon on the Mount shows that Jesus on a mission, but he was on a mission not to conform to this world which is being ruled by Satan with all its diseases, with all its injustice and evil oppression. In this world where the, the rule of Satan is rampant, Je when Jesus began his ministry, you see in Matthew chapter 4 verses 13 to 16, he went in search of those who were in the darkness and living under the shadow of death. Jesus was not just aimlessly wandering. He purposefully chose the opposite direction to travel. Anyone stepping into the public ministry will go towards towns and cities. But Jesus purposefully chose to go the opposite way to the frontiers where people were living under darkness and under the shadow of death and be light unto them. The final passages of chapter 4 tells us Jesus selects, calls disciples from among Gal Galileans. He teaches the Galileans and heals the Galileans. He called the people who were never called. He taught the people among whom there were no teachers. And he healed the people who had no bomb in Galilee. He assured that the kingdom of God is at hand to the people of Galilee. And who were the favorites of the kingdom of God? Matthew 5 has a list of the favorites of the kingdom of God. Those who are poor, they are blessed. Those who mourn, they are blessed. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice. Blessed are the peacemakers and blessed are the persecuted. The gospel itself is written from the perspective of those who were persecuted and who mourned the dead. We should be informed that Matthew wrote the gospel to the Christians in Syria. And of course he was writing uh, around uh, AD 80 during 68 to 70 there was a, ro uh, a Jewish rebellion which finally brought the second temple crashing down. Romans destroyed the se second temple which till today was not built. And Romans wanted to make Galileans, Galilee is always a tumultuous area, Romans wanted to make Galileans a lesson for all the rebels so they came and butchered Galileans. And even those Galileans who did not support the Galilean revolutionaries were affected and many people were killed. And so they had to run away from Galilee into the frontiers. And many Galilean Christians went and uh, took the res residence in uh, Syria. And Matthew was addressing to these fearful Galileans, to the Galileans who were mourning the dead, to the Galileans who were thirsting for righteousness, who were hungering and thirsting for justice. Galileans were persecuted. Matthew was writing his gospel. Matthew chose that Jesus the Messiah was conceived by a Galilean virgin. That Jesus was brought up and lived his life in Galilee. And Jesus chose his disciples from among the Galileans. And when he was resurrected, he showed himself first to the Galilean women and told them that he is going ahead of his disciples to Galilee, asked them to come and meet me there in Galilee. And on the Mount of Galilee, Jesus says in the final chapter, all authority is given to me, I am with you to the, till, uh, till the end of the age. Galileans, you are the salt 
and you are the light of the world. We can never disengage the saying salt and light from its immediate context. Verse 11 and 12 goes thus, Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad. Verse 11 and, 10, 11 and 12 can never be disengaged from verse 13 where Jesus calls us to be salt of the earth and light of the world. The Galilean refugees were persecuted, reviled against. Be glad, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light to the world. Yes, being light and being a salt to the earth is a willingness, expressing a willingness to lose oneself in the purpose of God. And Matthew gospel begins with a Galilean couple who are willing to lose themselves on the mission of God. Mary was reviled against for becoming pregnant even, be even before getting wedded. Joseph was reviled against. Evil was spoken against him for marrying a woman of loose morals as his wife. They were poor in spirit, reviled against. Evil was spoken against them. However, this couple resolved that they will be partners in the mission of God who wants to bring the satanic rule to an end in this world. And they were the primary example of being salt and the light. They were poor in spirit. They were meek. They were reviled against, persecuted. Evil was spoken against them. We have heard about Father Stan Swami who met his death in the Tihar jail. He was working among the tribals. He was fighting against them being, uh, becoming bonded laborers. He was arrested, and against, ar arrested under, under the unlawful uh, activities prevent, uh, preventing acts and was put into jail. He was an elderly person stricken with a Parkinson disease. He was not able to eat with his own hands, but the government refused to give him bail and he met his death in the prison. He was being light to the world and the salt of the earth. The call to act as a salt and light is a call for all those who are poor in spirit, who are reviled against, who are persecuted. If evil is spoken against you, you are the salt, you are the light of this world. If you are feeling that you are being crushed and your life is reeling under darkness, fight with God on your side. You are the light of this world. Being salt and being light is like being thrown among the clowns and thrown among uh, the boulders. It is a fight to bring yourself up and to bear force for God. In this world which is dominated by Saturn and evil, you may feel like a mustard seed. But if you are in the hand of God, you will bear fruits for the glory of God and you will shine forth as the light of this world. In, in the year 2016, Udumarapet market town market saw a gruesome murder of an instant was newly wedded. There was a gruesome murderous attack on the newly wedded couple. Also, the new bride had the multiplication of seeing the newly wedded his husband hacked to death in during the broad day and night because Australia married a boy from Dalit community. 
her own father set upon the assignments that both of them to be murdered. Mosamiya also was previously injured. As she was recovering in the government hospital bed, she resolved to fight against the evil of caste system. She reinvented herself and became a campaigner against the caste power killings. She married and sold an activist. And now, this couple is on a mission, meeting many students' groups and talking to them about the evil of caste system. And they are on a mission against the caste horror film. Being a salt of the world is not just being, but it is actively putting an end to the satanic evil of this world. But God is on your side. Being a light of this world is not just being, it is saving to the darkness that sets upon your life. Standing up in God's power to be a light to others. But Christ is upon your side. If you really want to accept the call to become salt of the earth and light of the world, become an agent of Christ and fight against the evil system of this world. This church for years is on a mission to bring light into the families of those upon whom darkness has set. This church is on a mission to bring light into the families of those who have children with disability. This church is on a mission to those families who are somewhat submerged in poverty. Neglect. This church is on a mission to bring quality education to those children who are on the sidelines of the mainstream education. This church is on a mission to bring light into the lives of the women who have alcoholic husbands, who are suffering with domestic violence, who are exploited and enslaved. This church is on a mission to bring light to the present-day Galilees, the faraway rural places which are far away from the mainstream development to bring development into that communities. If you want to be as a congregation, a salt and the light in the lives of the people around, actively participate in the mission of this church. Liberally donate to fund the missions of this church and fervently pray for the mission of this church. You are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. Stand up and fight. Savior Christ is on your side.